you had a, a fun chat with Terry Stott. What did you say to him at the end there? I said, good luck in the playoffs. Matt Moore. Tis tonight by downloading. Michael, um, it, you are very likely to face the Blazers. The Lakers are about to win their game and you'll face Portland. Do you have any advanced thoughts on that matchup? Uh, yeah, I mean, they're a really good team. Um, we know them uh, extremely well. As I mentioned, pregame, Matt, uh, they know us, obviously. Uh, we'll need our starting five to play with a hell of a lot more urgency um, and care and compete and show up than we did tonight. Uh, that was really disappointing and unacceptable. Uh, I thought everybody else in the roster, when they got a chance to play, played really hard. Um, from our second unit, even to that group that was in there late. You, know, you have JaVale McGee out there. He's been a part of three world championships, and he's playing every possession like it matters. And uh, that's what it's going to take. You know, they're a really talented team. They have three tremendous guards, Lillard, McCollum, Powell, uh, Nurk and Cantor in the paint on the glass. Uh, obviously, we know about the three-point shooting. They made nine threes in that first quarter. So, uh whether we played Portland, whether we played Dallas, whether we played the Lakers, we knew any of those teams was going to be a hell of a challenge uh, for us in the first round, considering all the injuries that we still have. Esteban Abed. Hi, Coach. Um, about uh, Marcus Howard, uh, the last game he plays amazing. And Nicola compares him with uh, with Steph Curry. How do you describe the game, the the speed of Marcus to take the shots? Yeah, I, I would never compare anybody to Steph Curry. Uh, I know Nicola probably means it as a compliment, but uh, Steph Curry is in a category all by himself. Um, let Marcus Howard be Marcus Howard. The last four games, Marcus has gotten a chance to play. Uh, tonight, he got an extensive chance to play 32 minutes, and uh, he's a scorer. I mean, he showed that last year in college. He led the whole country in scoring. Um, so uh, he, he gets open. He's in constant motion, never stops moving, uh, and he can get his own shot off the dribble. And when you're overplaying, he can get to the basket and finish. Or well, one of my favorite plays that he made all night when I just told him this is when he drove into the paint, attracted a crowd and kicked out to Zeke Naji for a wide open three. That's good basketball. Uh, but yeah, I'm happy for Marcus. I'm proud of him. Uh, and, and he's a guy off the bench that can put the ball in the hole. And, uh, you know, that, that is definitely a, a valuable asset to have. Brandon Crystal. Coach, what does the next few days look like and the effort you got from your starters? Does that change your thinking at all with how you want to handle these couple days? No, that, that would be me making an emotional decision. You know, so I was disappointed uh, as I was in that starting group in the first half, in the first quarter. Um, you know, that, that's, you know, we've kind of set the schedule up a while ago. So we'll get home late tonight, Brandon. We'll be off tomorrow, give them uh, just a chance to get away. Um, and then Tuesday, we'll bring them back into the gym. We'll probably have a team dinner that night, start talking about whoever we're playing in the first round. Um, and then probably start practicing on Wednesday, you know, going live. So uh, it's really important how we use this week to prepare both mentally and physically, uh, because when game one comes around, uh, we're going to have to have great effort, great energy, and then we're going to have to be able to play for 48 minutes because that's what it's going to take to win a playoff game and a playoff series. Leonardo Torres. Coach, do you think the team will reach the playoffs playing its best basketball of the season? Uh, well, we didn't play our best basketball tonight, you know, um, which is uh, a little disappointing. You know, we knew that they were going to come out and play like their playoff lives were on the line because they were. Um, you know, but prior to tonight, I think since Jamal Murray went down to injury, uh, we were 13 and four coming into this game with lots of new players, a lot of guys still out to injury, and we were a top 10 offense and a top 10 defense. So 
Uh, overall, I feel really good about how we finished the season up in light of all the adversity. Uh, and I'm not going to allow one game and really one quarter to take away from that. Um, our, our guys have proven time and time again uh, that they're ready for any challenge that they're facing. And if we play Portland, if we play Dallas, whoever it is, it's going to be a tremendous challenge. And uh, I'm sure our guys are going to be uh, ready to go when game one comes around. All right, that'll do it. Thank you, Coach.